Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jay Phantom. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we have another 100% showcase. Today's showcase is the, on the AGL Android 18 from the same event as the 17 that we showcased earlier. So let's go through the card, see what's different about her compared to 17, and then we can get started with the showcase. So she's a UR, not a TUR, just like Android 17. And her HP attack stat looks very similar to the Android 17, and her defense is a little bit higher than 17, so that's good. Her leader skill is a little bit different. Now, she provides the Universal Survival Sag category 3 key and the stats 30% rather than 2 key and 40% like the Android 17. So if you need more key, she's probably the one to go with. But if you can lose the extra key for more stats, which I recommend, definitely Android 17 is going to be better as the leader compared to 18. Her super attack is the exact same I'm pretty much finishing blow. Causes supreme damage and lowers the enemy's attack. So that's good. Same as 17. Now with her passive skill, this is where she kind of changes up compared to 17. She has defense boost of 10% for every key sphere obtained. So she's purely a defensive unit. No attack stat increases. And she has a medium chance to stun the attacked enemies for two turns. So you can do a normal attack and she'll still get the effect as long as you have the RNG. Instead of getting the super attack and getting that high chance instead. And two turns meaning the turn that she attacked as well as the next turn after. So like a normal super attack stun. Her link skills I'm pretty sure are the exact same except she has Battlefield Diva uh, with the two key and instead of shocking speed like 17 has. Tournament power is still there. She also gets an additional category which is Peppy Girls. Now of course since she's not an attack unit we aren't trying to showcase the attack. We're just going to showcase how well she can defend. Of course... This is the team we are going to be running here. We have an orb changer in there. We have supportive units. It's great same ends at 70% attack boost. And then we have the Super Saiyan Goku that provides super types, 120% stat boost as well as key three. We're not going to use any damage reduction items. We're going to just see how well she can defend with the orbs she collects and everything like that. Of course, we can still see her damage. It just won't be, you know, amazing like Android 17's was because we did a nuke test. So if you haven't seen 17 showcase, make sure you check it out down below the link will be there all right so doesn't really matter about key since we're going to collect a lot of blue key anyway so hopefully we can get super attacked with her defending i want to see how well she can defend a super attack of course super saiyan 4 goku is not you know the greatest most latest event out but we can still see now i'm going to chuck her always where most of the attacks are and grab as much key as we can we do get our first super attack with her. Maybe she can get a stun. If she does stun, then we can't see her defensive skill and more of her stun skill. 200,000 attacks. That is not a lot. It's not a lot at all. 131,000 gets an additional attack. Also, with the stuns, I don't know if additional attacks do give her an extra chance to stun. So let me know in the comment section if it does because I know that, you know, the super attack stuns don't work like that. But maybe the passive stuns work differently. I gave her... 14 additional, 3 dodge, and then the rest criticals. Since she stunned, we didn't get to see her defense, so that will probably be the most difficult part of showcasing. And then we got to go through all of these <laughs> different support units that can't really do that much damage. We can now see the defense on her, since Goku is attacking us first. We only grabbed 3 orbs, so it's not going to be a crazy amount of defense. She has 27,000 for grabbing 3 orbs. Takes a normal hit with double digit damage. Of course, this is with 190% leader skill altogether. So obviously when you use her with your pay to play units, she's obviously going to get more defense. She did get an additional super attack, I believe. So that's cool. No stun though. It is a medium chance, which is which is 25% uh, chance of happening. So one in four chance. And then same man will take him out. Now we get to the type advantage. No super attacks against her yet, I'm pretty sure. Unless I was not looking. Goku transforming. I don't really want to super attack with Goku, so I'm going to chuck him there. Actually, I want to keep... Gohan provides attack and defense? No, just attack. Okay. Um, then I'm going to do this instead. Oh, they're linking so good. All right, change of plans. <laughs> We're going to do this. I know Goku's going to take him out in one turn. There's no doubt about it. 36,000 for a normal hit. All right, so normal units there take about 9,000, 10,000 for a normal hit from the grade 8. So let's see how much Android 18 can take. All right, so she is getting attacked first, which is awesome. She can grab 
an abundance of orbs, which gets her to 45,000 defense. She's doubled her amount of her defense from the last time. And we can super attack with everybody. Let's see how much we can tank for. 51 damage. So normal units uh, like that Gohan took 10,000 damage. She took double digit damage, just like the pay to play Super Saiyan Goku. And we get the stun, so that's awesome. Additional attack. Alright, let's just super attack with everybody and we can get to the final phase. It looks like we can grab another decent amount of orbs for the next turn since Tarble changes red key to AGL. As long as the key don't change in the next phase. Uh, it, won't look, it doesn't even look like we're going to take him out anyway. Go transform into Super Saiyan 3! Perfect. Look at this. Alright, we have six orbs. So this is the usual amount you'd grab during, you know, proper runs. Obviously without any key orb changes. 33,000 defense is what she's averaging with 190% leader skill of, you know, our leader and the friend leader. Obviously when you have the representatives of Universe 7, your defense is going to increase because 177% boost in attack, HP and defense, that's a lot. And obviously with your own 120% leader. Or Jiren lead. I didn't even see how much she did for damage. Or how much she did with a tank. We have not seen her tank a super attack yet. So please happen. Change all those red orbs over there on the left to blue. So we can grab like 10 orbs. Which is 100% defense boost. Oh my god. We're demolishing now. Alright, so Saiyan Man took about 3,000 damage. I'm sure we can get double digit again with the Android 18. Alright, perfect. Get all of that. Again, we're not going to use any items to buff her defense or attack. She's going to see what she would normally get. I didn't even see the defense stat, but she's tanking for double digit damage. Awesome stuff. 228,000 attack. Not too special anyway. 200,000 overall damage. She's taking a super attack, so that's awesome. What's she going to take? 24,000. Okay, that's our comparison. Hopefully, Super Saiyan 4 Goku super attacks us again. How much damage we can um, see the difference between a normal unit and her. Goku, in his god transformation... Go like this. And it looks like we're going to super attack with God Goku, which means it's probably going to end the showcase here. Unless we can see a super attack by Goku would be nice. Would super Saiyan 4 Goku super attack us, please? Not yet. Please super attack, say hey, man. No super attack. Okay. Well, we didn't see anyone else get super attack, so... Unless this is weak, surely not. Yep. Well, there you go, guys. So, what do you guys think about the Android 18? Do you think she's a worth the 100 percentable unit? To me, personally, I don't think so. But the reason why I 100 percent her was that she's going to fit in my Peppy Gales category. So, she's going to be useful for the Super Battle Road that is coming up for Global, which is already out for JP. But, guys, that's going to be wrapping up the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay busy. Peace out.